Hi guys, Tech James here. So the Nintendo 64 emulator for PSP or PS Vita, known as Dangerous, is that if that is even how you pronounce it, I don't even know. But it's had another update. Now this update is actually kind of like changed how the program works, how like the emulator actually works. I think they've switched software or something like that. I'm not really too sure. But um, if you guys want to install this on your PSP or PS Vita, you want to go into the USB connection mode, connect it to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. So here we are on the GitHub and you guys can see it says this was released a day ago. So I'm pretty sure it's actually started being developed um, by someone else, um, Wally4000. And he has actually made quite a few changes. So it says here, this release might not be such a huge deal yet, but for stability and probability, we need to make some changes. So apparently they've moved to a make system so I don't develop like games or emulators. I'm pretty much not really sure what any of this stuff means, but um, I'm pretty sure they've kind of like changed it a bit. So it's like running with someone something else. So it should run a bit smoother. We will be downloading it and testing it out anyway, seeing what the sound is like, because sometimes the emulation isn't terrible. It's mostly like the sound that's really glitchy. And sometimes the emulator does kind of get a bit laggy in spots. We're going to be testing it on my PSP 1000. I have made videos where I've tested it on the Vita, but uh, it's pretty much just the same thing because it's the emulator itself. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the zip file right here and that is going to begin downloading. And once that has finished, let's go to our downloads folder and find it. Okay, so here it is. I've got two games in here. Super Mario 64. This game does run okay. I'd say it's playable. It does have some audio glitches. We've also got Pokemon Stadium. Now this game is completely glitched up. So we will be trying out this and seeing if it's any different. So let's just get the emulator. Let's just drag that out of the zip folder. Let's just get the ROMs and put them inside of the folder. And we need to just create a new ROMs folder. So right click new folder, call it ROMs. And then let's just drag our ROMs into that. Okay, so once we've got this sorted out, let's just drag and drop this into my PSP's gamer folder. So here it is, let's just put that in there. Give it a few seconds just to copy across. And once it's done, that is literally it for our PC. So let's go over onto my PSP 1000 and let's see if there's actually any changes. Okay, so back on your PSP. Now let's go ahead and actually test out the emulator. So I think we're gonna try Mario 64 first and see what happens. And then we can try Pokemon Stadium because as we know, that's pretty broken. So let's just go ahead and start up the emulator right now for version 1.1.5. So here are our games, Pokemon Stadium and then Super Mario 64, which actually the cover art works on this one, so I'm not too sure why it works on Mario and not Pokemon, um, but there you go. So you can press the home button and that will uh, make you quit, but you can actually go into some settings. If you use left and right, you can actually change from um, save dates, about global settings is what we want. Uh, we want to I think we should probably leave that how it is. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we want to change here. So let's go back into ROMs. Let's start up Mario 64. If you press X on it, you can get some more settings here. Edit preferences. In here, I'm going to make sure audio is turned on. So as you can see, mine is currently on synchronous. I'm going to leave it on that. But you can change it to off or you can leave it. It's up to you. I'm going to go to save and return. We've also got advanced options. Nothing in here, which I'd really want to change. And then we've got cheats, which I haven't set up yet. So let's just go on start emulation and let's just give this some quick gameplay. Let's see if it's changed. Normally the audio is kind of bad. Um, so I've got the volume turned up. And yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so a bit of audio lagging, a bit of frame rate drop. Let's press on start. Let's go into the game and launch up a quick game. Now the audio right here on the cutscene and cutscene itself is actually really good. Um, I think it's not until the castle when it actually starts to lag normally, but at least it is actually getting developed. Um, it's actually changed of developers as well, which is actually really cool. So we can actually expect this thing to become a lot better. Audio seems fine, not really lagging. Let's go into the castle because that is normally when the first bit of lag actually starts. Let's see if it still happens. It's normally Bowser's laugh, um, which is the laggy bit, so if I just turn up the volume. Uh, 
Okay, so there was a tiny bit of lag on that. I don't think that was as bad as normal, to be honest. Let's just try some quick gameplay here. Get the coins. There you go. So yeah, tiny bit laggy. Maybe slightly better. But we there probably is going to be quite a few improvements coming soon. So let's just press the home button. And what we can do is we can go to um, return to main menu. Now let's try Pokemon Stadium. Now Pokemon Stadium is really, really glitchy on this. Um, let's just see if it's still exactly the same, or maybe it's a bit better. Mario 64, I couldn't really tell. Maybe there was a slight difference, um, but it was really hard to tell. It says Pokemon Stadium. Oh, it's disabled. So let's just enable the audio right now. Um, synchronous, save and return, um, resume emulation. So yeah, there you go. The audio on this is really, really bad. And the cutscene isn't actually lagging as bad as it was before, I don't think. So that is pretty interesting. But it doesn't really look like this has improved. Yeah, there you go. You've got some missing textures right there on um, Jigglypuff. So yeah, it doesn't look like this has really improved that much. So that's kind of a shame. Um, but there you go. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys the updated version. And it's changed developer. So maybe we can expect some cool things to come. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.